because this art form involves so many different arts and artists that we really need to start having a bigger conversation with all of us who are involved in what, what do we want for this art form and how do we move it forward together? And what does leadership look like? Hello and welcome to What's Opera Doc, the YouTube channel for professional opera singers and everybody who's interested in looking behind the scenes of the classical music industry. Today, I have very good news. The team of what, What's Opera Doc is growing and we are very happy to announce that we soon will be able to offer more content in English so that our international colleagues can participate and benefit from it as well. The person who we have to thank for this is our new English speaking team member and future host, Julia Benzinger. Dear Julia, I'm very happy that you're here. Welcome. Thank you so much. I'm really excited to be here. Thank you. I'm very happy that you are joining us and that you are willing to, to voice important topics and to raise awareness to issues that need to be discussed and to be changed for the better in the future. Before we talk more about this, of course, we are very curious about you as a person. Uh, where are you coming from? What are your professional experiences? Who are you? Please tell our community a little bit more about yourself. Well, hi, I'm Julia and I hail from the Pacific Northwest of the United States. Uh, although I was raised for the beginning of my life in Kailua, Hawaii, I came to classical music quite late I was about 19 when I was exposed to opera for the first time and I fell in love. Before that, I was going down the track of the sciences and was enrolled at a university in Hawaii to study biology, but fell in love with classical music and decided to switch schools and majors to pursue what felt to me this incredible athleticism of, of vocal music at the time I was absolutely in love with all things hard rock, um, then it was called industrial and electronic music and opera. My first opera was Electra, which felt very much in the same vein, <laughs> but an unamplified voice. And I had never heard anything like it or seen anything like it. And I thought, ah, that's what I, I wanna do that. So I, I switched and began studying classical music, which was a bit of a shock coming from folk music, rock music, where things were very much self-expression, inclusion, uh, exploration of new sounds, new ways of, of hitting things politically, very charged politically at that time. And into this world of when I stepped foot into the conservatory of sort of going back into the 19th century and everything seemed very rigid. There is a way we do things. You will do it this way. You will interpret things this way. And it was, it was quite a culture shock. For, for me. But um, after completing school, I had the fortune of joining the chorus of Seattle Opera for three productions. And then I went on to some young artist programs, Sarasota Opera, Seattle Opera, the Britain Piers Young Artist Program. And then I had the chance of a lifetime to become fest at the Deutsche Oper Berlin, the German National Opera in Berlin. And it was an experience that I still treasure. I learned a lot uh, about myself, about the profession, about the art form, about my colleagues um, during, my, during my time in Berlin. So what are the topics you burn for and you want to address on what's Opera Doc in the future as a host? Yes. Well, our dear friend, Kathleen, Kathleen Tier introduced us. And I think initially she, thought that maybe I would have something to contribute in a different manner. And I went back and reviewed the videos that you have put on your channel. And it's just such an incredible platform for performers and artists to be able to speak candidly and frankly. 
And it was on, on one side, very cathartic and heartening to hear people be able to speak their, their piece and, and feel comfortable speaking it with you. And on the one hand, um, extremely frustrating that, that my lived experiences are still being experienced by, by a lot of singers um, in Europe and the United States. And as I was listening to all of these topics, body shaming, fat phobia, racism, misogyny, um, mental health, the way singers are treated as automatons and puppets in a way at, at some houses, it, it got me thinking um, there's a common thread and a common thread is leadership or perhaps a lack thereof, as well as transparency and communication. And I feel we need as singers, but also everybody involved in this art form, because this art form involves so many different arts and artists, that we really need to start having a bigger conversation with all of us who are involved in what, what do we want for this art form? And how do we move it forward together? And what does leadership look like? Um, because the way it's been functioning for the past many years just isn't sustainable and it's not healthy. So I would like to explore that. I would love to give voice to people and, and shine a light on so many positive things happening in our industry. This year locked everyone down and a lot of channels of communication opened, perhaps even for the first time where we had access and we were willing to speak openly in a way that maybe we were speaking in the cantina before in hushed tones People are done with it. It's time to it's time to have these conversations, positive and constructively negative, and to to better our situation for for everybody involved. I think this will be really exciting. And please give Julia a big thumbs up for a powerful start and to show your appreciation what the team of What's Opera Dog is doing here and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, share and comment. And uh, just one thing, this channel was always intended to be multilingual. So if you would like to contribute in one or another language, in English, French, Spanish, Italian, Russian, whatever, do, don't hesitate to contact us. You, you will find the email address down below. Thank you, dear Julia. And we are very much looking forward to your videos and interviews. See you soon and have fun. Thank you. I can't wait. Thank you so much, Elizabeth.